Okay, let's get started. Uh, hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, PyJulius' uh, PyCom, uh, which has some other features that I would like to use instead of the Jonaberg's PyCom, which uh, the one I use so let's uh, get started. Let me just make the terminal a bit smaller in here. So let's go to the GitHub page. This is the GitHub uh, repo. I'll be putting this link in the description so you can get it as well. I'm going to show you how to set this thing up. So I'm just going to clean, clone the repo, copy it, and let's see the into slash jump and get its clone and paste the link going to clone this repo okay uh, uh, let's get to the readme you might need some dependencies uh, uh, in order to build this PyCom and that might depend on your uh, uh, specific distribution so you, on Debian you can you need all of these dependencies and Fedora you need all of these okay it doesn't specify on if I am using Void or Arch Linux but well, we'll see if we need any dependencies. Let's copy this this first line in here. As you can see, to build, uh, we need this first line and we need this second line too and third line. Okay, let's see the into PyCom. And if I list the contents, as you can see, we see all of these things. Uh, let me just make this one big. Okay, let's paste get sub modules updates and that okay let's go to the second one which is mason and build you have to have mason installed in your system so we are building okay the first error or the first death okay we are missing libev let me just open another terminal so let's do xpps uh, my package manager is xpps let me just you can use your package manager I'm just going to query for that package lib, or search for that package okay we have libev yeah i might need this development package over here so sudo xpps and install maybe dash s and need to Paste lib ev. No, I don't think that's the one I need. Uh, I need this one. This one, yeah. Lib ev dash develop and install it. Yes, hit enter. And let's go to this one and do this again. See if we have any more debt okay it seems to be building correctly so and let's let's uh, do ninja <coughs> ninja dash c capital c build okay you have to have ninja installed is a it's just small a small build system and build Okay, let me just show you in here. Let's query Ninja. Yeah. As you can see, I have it installed. It's just a small build system with the focus on speed. And hit enter in here. So it seems to be building. It seems to be building. Okay. 
So I'm recording here and it's gonna take a little bit of time because I'm recording and I'm building this package. Okay, seems to build correctly, no errors. Uh, I do I see a warning, but as long as I don't have any errors, that's that's good. Okay, how do we install this thing? Okay, there is a ninja that C build install, so uh, let's do install. I think it's install, yeah, install. I think we need sudo for that uh, as a root user, so okay, yeah, and we installed it. That's great. Uh, let's close this terminal and cd back into our home directory. Let's cd into that config and pycom. Okay, if I list the content, I do have my original ones and I did make this before the video. I just copied some stuff from the sample file, uh, pycom.sample.conf. It seems to be loading slowly, I don't know why. Okay, I made some changes and some animations. Okay. Let me just show you PyCom uh, 2, this one. Okay. I just made animation equal to true and slide up, slide down, slide up. Okay. I made this stuff and uh, I made the back end uh, which is X render and corner radius so this is my from my original PyCom conf config uh, as you can see here I have the corner radius to 4 and fading is true, shadow true, uh, vsync is true and all of these stuffs and I have this uh, uh, because I'm using DWM, so I have DWM in here, I'm Chromium, and I use GIMP as well. So I can have the blur. Okay, let's save this file, and let me just, uh, let's do, let's move my PyCom, the original one to Pycom, I think that's back. Okay. Let me just move it to conf and that back. And let's do two because it's okay. Uh, as you can see, I moved it and this thing changed. So let me just do move the Pycom two because this that's the one I made to so that conf. Okay, now all I have to do is just uh, kill X or maybe a reboot if I wanna do that. I just do pkill X so and uh, I can exit out of the, out of the DWM and lo uh, get back in and we'll see if it works. Okay, I'll be back when I do that actually I don't have I don't need to do to kill X I just need to maybe to start PyCom and let's start PyCom and see if it uh, if it works another compositor is okay PKL PyCom Okay, just to kill the original PyCom, which is Jonah Bergs. So now let's do the start PyCom. Okay, as you can see, it works. We have some errors because I didn't restart the window manager. So let me just open another terminal. As you can see, it's sliding in. And let's do another one and maybe do this one. As you can see, the animation is great, it's fantastic. 
Okay, let's do. Okay, I'm switching tags, so it did. It does this. That's great. Let me just open another terminal. It's sliding in and sliding out. Okay, it works great. Let's open the dot config and Python. Python dot config. Okay, the sliding slide up and slide down. It works great. Okay, that's great. If I switch tags, it does this. Okay, that's great. Uh, there we go. That's how you set up a, a PyJulius's PyCom. You can add the uh, stuff to the configuration file, uh, stuff that you like and uh, customize it a bit more. I just did the uh, minimal thing. Uh, I might add some other stuff to it, but I like this one already, so. Okay, we're getting more errors in here, so. Because I need to start the window manager, restart the, the DWM, so. Okay, we have the slide in, slide out. That's great, let's open, let's see, for example, uh, let's open, okay. We have the menu, uh, sliding up, and uh, let's open the word manager, it's manager. It's gonna open uh, in here, this tag. Okay, sliding in. Let me just do this. Okay, that's great. Uh, let me just close that. Go back in. Okay. All right, that's great. Okay, that's it for uh, this video. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next one. Bye.